In this video, we'll explore the topics and concepts that will be covered in the experiments which accompany the QNET Heating and Ventilation Trainer. This trainer is designed to teach and demonstrate the fundamentals of climate control. The accompanying experiments cover topics of on-off control, modeling, PI temperature control, integral wind-up, and set-point weight. Using the QNET Heating and Ventilation Trainer with NI LabVIEW, we can introduce and investigate real-world applications of these topics, applying theory to simulation and experimentation. The first topic that we'll explore is on-off control. On-off control, also known as relay feedback, is a simple control strategy which is used in many basic control systems, such as heating and cooling houses or refrigerators. On-off control is investigated in the first experiment using a halogen light as a heater and a fan as a blower. We can see our set point signal and our measured signal on the graph here. Once the system has been calibrated and the heater has been activated, we'll notice the heater turning on and off. We'll notice that the voltage graph only has two possible states. We can modify our relay amplitude, relay mean, and relay width to qualitatively investigate how these control parameters affect the system. In this experiment, we also investigate a simple model for the system. Once we've obtained a relatively symmetrical oscillation, we can export the temperature and voltage graphs and use these graphs to measure our temperature and voltage oscillations, and use these measurements to calculate our model parameter. In the PI control experiment, we're introduced to the concept of temperature control using a proportional integral control loop. This sort of PI temperature control is used in HVAC systems in certain laboratories, manufacturing plants, or processing centers where exact environment conditions must be maintained. In this experiment, we attempt to eliminate the oscillations in the temperature that we saw in the on-off control experiment. This is why PI temperature control is used when more exact conditions are required. PI control uses feedback to make corrective actions based on an error value, which is the difference between the desired and actual temperature value. We can change the contributions of the proportional and integral components to our control system by modifying our control parameters. We'll be qualitatively analyzing the effects of these components on our measured temperature. Another concept we'll be investigating is integral windup. This refers to the situation in a feedback controller where a significant change in the set point occurs and the integral component accumulates a large error during the rise of the measured response. This can lead to a large overshoot. Integral windup can be especially important in systems where the hardware being controlled takes a relatively long time to respond. For example, in the case of an HVAC system, it can take a very long time to increase the temperature of a building by just a single degree. In the lab, We'll investigate the effect of having an anti-windup strategy on the control signal and temperature response. By varying the anti-windup reset parameter, TR, we can investigate the temperature response. We can change this parameter and observe the effect. Finally, we'll investigate the set point weight. In a standard PID or PI controller, the proportional component acts on the error which is the difference between the set point and the measured value. By introducing a set point weight, the proportional component will act only on a fraction of the set point portion of the error, which is defined by the set point weight. Introducing this variable has an interesting effect, which will be investigated in the lab by changing the BSP parameter. Values for this parameter typically fall in the range of 0 to 1. In this video, we explored the topics and concepts that will be covered in the experiments which accompany the QNET Heating and Ventilation Trainer. The topics of interest include on-off control, modeling, PI temperature control, integral windup, and set point weight.